Hi, my name's Sharon and for those of you who didn't watch my first video, uh, this is my seventh week since I had an operation. I broke my tibia, fibula and fractured my ankle. That required surgery with a metal plate and 11 screws. So after six weeks in a cast, I got the cast removed last Wednesday and I was given one of these boots and I was allowed, I'm allowed to, they said that I was allowed to partially bear weight. So I came home last Wednesday from the hospital with my boot. Obviously you just have to play it by ear, you don't know how much weight to put on it, you just have to sort of see if it hurts or not. It's the only way you can do it. Uh, but anyway, my wounds have healed really well and the surgeons were very happy with uh, the way the operation had went and happy with my progress. I'll show you my scars. I can put a little bit of weight on the back foot when it's down. There's the scar along the ankle. It's a little bit red there, but it's absolutely fine as you can see. I've been using bio oil to reduce the scars, scars so it looks pretty good. That's the one on the, the shin there, yeah. And there's also one here and here. There's a tiny little bit of swelling there, but obviously that's what you expect after any type of operation. Um, I'm going to show you how I walk with my crutches and I'm doing really well. It does feel a bit strange <laughs> learning how to walk again, but I'm getting there. I'll be making sure that I do plenty of exercises to get the range of movement back in my leg, in my ankle. As you can see, I can stand. Oops. I would say that putting about 30 to 35% weight down this side of the body. So it feels good, there's no pain there. I won't chance walking because I've been told that I've got to use the crutches for the next six to eight weeks. But anyway, plenty of exercises. So I'll just show you some of the exercises I've been doing. Lift my heel up. Obviously not full weight on the right leg, but definitely some weight. Point my toe back and forward, round in circles, both ways. Doing the alphabet. And stretches. And it actually feels really good to be honest. I'm more than happy with the progress. So, another thing that I tried to do was I went in the car and what I done was in the, in the front street, it's just a small street with five houses, uh, I drove forward and reversed back and I'd done that about 15 times, pressing the brake each as I was going. Now I have got power to press the brake. I do feel as though I could do an emergency stop, however, I didn't try it. Uh, my calf muscle was aching down here because it's not used to pressing the accelerator or the brake because it hasn't done it for quite some time. But anyway, um, I haven't had my first physiotherapy session yet. I'm due to get that on Monday. So that's another five days and my goal is that I'll be driving there on my own. And as you know from my last video, 
I told everyone that I believe in the secret by Rhonda Byrne, the magic, and it's the power of positive thinking in the law of attraction. And I do believe that I will be driving the car on Monday. In fact, I definitely will be. And I'm looking forward to uh, going to see the physiotherapist so she can actually put me on the right track because I've just been doing the exercises I've sort of found on the internet. So I'm looking forward to going to see them. And I hope this information is useful to someone out there for those people who are going through the same type of trauma as myself. So anyway, thank you for watching my video and I'll keep you updated. Bye.